Good evening, Freedom fans. We are back with Freedom Face Off, and tonight's live will be with another big rematch on Freedom 16 between Ben and Matt. Without further ado, let's invite both of them in. Matt, you're invited. Matt, you're sideways. Oh, it's supposed to be all right, guys. All right. Still got you sideways. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for everybody for tuning in. Um, tonight's another special Freedom Face Off. Freedom 16 is going to be special, man. Uh, we have a, a, a huge super show, uh, a, few, a number of good uh, pro fights, but we also have four United States championship title fights, and all of them are rematches, big rematches. And one of them is going to be this one, which, just, which happened just earlier this month. Next week, it's happening again. Uh, Matt, if you could bring your video a little lower so we can see your face. And... This fight happened just a few weeks ago on um, Freedom 15. And Ben was secured his victory. It was such a close fight that both of them agreed to the rematch right away. And if you know Freedom, you know Freedom does what the people want. The people wanted to see both of you fight. With that said, let's kick it off. Ben, you first. Tell us your name, your gym, and your age. Uh, my name is Ben Collins. I'm fighting out of Capital MMA. I'm 32 years old, and I'm located in D.C. Matt, same thing. Your name, Jim, and age. Hey, I'm Matt Pinkney. I'm 37. I'm from Eight Lambs and West Philly. Ben, when and why did you start Muay Thai? <laughs> it's funny. I, I actually... Uh, I actually wanted to start uh, boxing because when I was younger, I liked fighting. So I just wanted to go to a boxing gym to actually learn how to fight. And when I joined Capital at the time, they only had Muay Thai. So I was like, okay, well, you guys are kicking. I'm going to learn how to kick. And from there, I was addicted. And five years later, I'm here. Five years. Mm-hmm. Is this where you wanted to, where you thought you would be in five years? <laughs> I was just talking about this with a friend. I had no idea I would be this far along five years ago. And it's, uh, and I'm very happy. It, it's happening really fast, but um, I'm really happy how far I've um, got. And I know there's so much more I, I can, so much more for me to accomplish. And I'm loving this ride, so I'm just, you know, going along for the ride, and I'm loving every step of, and every every step of it. That's what's up, brother. Matt, tell us when and why you started Muay Thai. Um, so, I started Muay Thai 10 years ago. Uh, it was just something to do when I wasn't doing uh, uh, BJJ. I started out doing uh, BJJ as my first martial art. I had uh, I just got my blue belt. And I'm like, you know, I was really, I was changing my life, getting in shape. Like when I was doing BJJ, I used to walk around like 240 pounds. I got weight down. Big boy. That's good. I started, I, I watched the guys after we roll, they were doing Muay Thai. I'm like, damn, this is going to look dope. So I started jumping into classes, you know, here and there once, maybe twice a week. Then one, one day I'm talking to my, my homie and he like, yo, it's a new gym around the way. I'm like, where at? He's like, right on board on where at? I'm like, where at? He's like, come through any time. I come through the next day. I'm knocking on the door. This guy come to the door, door with glasses on. I'm like, this a Muay Thai gym? He's like, yeah. Mind you, it's Charlie. <laughs> and I come up there. I jump in the first class. I was cooked after about <laughs> 15 minutes. So I'm like, I'm the type of person. I love a challenge. So, man, next thing I know, um, I'm fighting. And, and after a year, 
and you know how I go with Muay Thai, man. It's addictive. The, the adrenaline, mm -hmm. nothing like being on that stage in front of people and proving yourself. So here I am, ten years later. Ten years. Uh, same question. Is that where you thought you'd be heading when you first started? I didn't have a direction. I just had a desire to improve myself mentally, physically, spiritually. And this just became the path. And I've had ups and downs, but throughout the whole thing, this is what kept me grounded. You know, life been pulling me up, pulled me the mud even. But Muay Thai and, and you know, guards always pull myself back out every time. That's what's up, man. But uh, I mean, both of you guys, you are in the biggest fight, biggest fight of your your, your career, and on on a, on a super show that people all over the world is talking about. So all, all the all the respect to you guys. You guys Thank you. deserve where you are right now. Just a little background because I got a few. Um, when I made this fight, a few people talked to me about how you guys are fighting for the belt. So, I, I'm a promoter that doesn't hide anything from the people. Um, so this, obviously, the champion, the original champion was Khawaja, who, who won uh, and won his title uh, about a year ago. And he was supposed to defend uh, in August, and he was unable, unable to. And then... And then uh, we went. We took it off into September. Uh, again, he, he was unable to. So in July, if people don't know, if people don't, don't know, we had a number one contender for the for the spot in which uh, Jeffrey Spook. He won, and he became the number one fighter in the country for it. He was supposed to be fighting for the belt, but then when I offered him the chance to fight Abu before talking to Abu, and he said he was unable to. So when I went ahead and offered that fight uh, for Abu again to defend, so I can get an opponent, he was injured and he was unable to defend. So, and his team respectfully actually said, we don't mind and we know this is how it's supposed to be done, so we won't be upset. So he, uh, the belt became vacated to somebody that's able to defend and fight for it. You guys had just finished fighting. And I was able to hear people saying that some people thought you won, some people thought he won. I'm like, let's make the rematch. And then the belt is there. And I saw you you guys. You guys both, in my opinion, are at the top. Both of you are two of the best fighters in the division in the country. And it's going to be fought for by two of the best fighters in the country. Matt from Eightland Academy. Ben from Capital MMA, this is your time to be the best fighter in the country. How does that feel, Ben, hearing all that? Man, it, it's, I prayed for this, and now it's happening. So I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy to get the opportunity, and I'm going to work my ass off to get this. I'm going to work my ass off for those five rounds to get that belt. Matt, what... How do you feel hearing all that? So, uh, as far as like, you know, people talking about uh, how we fighting for the belt, I'm from old school. So, you know, it's either uh, shit or get off the pot. So hmm? I, I like the way you went about it. You know, we're going to keep this thing moving. If you want to, you know, come back, fight for the belt, I'm sure. I mean, I got every plan on winning, but I'm sure me or Bang got no problem defending that title against anybody. So... Hmm. You know, the title ain't going on nowhere. It's going to be in good hands. Mm -hmm. I felt honored to get the opportunity to fight for that beautiful belt you're holding right there. You know, I already, I'm, I'm picturing myself holding that thing up in the air every night, every day, every time I wake up, every time I train, when I'm running, when I'm eating, when I'm just sitting in my thoughts, when I'm driving to work, when I'm driving back home, I'm thinking about that belt. Now, uh, we, had a, we have a funny question interesting question from from the man himself he said rami you putting ben in the red corner so what corner were you in the last time uh red corner and you fought uh 
and you fought in the red corner. Okay, and, and, and Matt, were you in the blue corner or red corner? Blue. We have to talk about this after. But usually how it's supposed to be, the home corner, for those that don't know, the home mm -hmm. corner is always the red, and the blue okay. corner is always the away. My, this is me, my thinking. I never give a fuck what corner you put me in. I'm coming to take your head off, whether it's a red corner, blue corner, black corner. I'm I'm going to do my job. But with that said, listen, this is, what does this belt mean to you? You're going to be called the United States Freedom Champion, the USA Freedom Champion. Does that mean anything to you and why? Ben first. Man, it means I'm going, it means I'm one of the best. It means all that hard work I put in is finally being recognized and and it's just going to motivate me. It's going to motivate me to even go further. That's all I want to do is just continue to go further. Go past the, go past my current limits to somewhere beyond that. The questions are already popping in in the comments. But before we start asking the questions, you just recently became a WKA national champion in the tournament that just went on. And now you're coming back into this. Mm -hmm. anything to you what type of attitude you coming with into this fight man it tells me man the WKAs that was just another that was just a step one step to get closer to that belt that right there showed me it just helped me improve what I already what I already know I'm it already showed me what I'm capable of and it helped me, and it's going to help me improve. Um, it's going to help me improve um, from our last fight. So all I want to do is get better, and that's and that just showed me, okay, there's things I need to work on, and I, and I learned that at WK, so I'm going to work on that, and I'm going to bring that to the fight on the uh, uh, on September 9th. Matt, same question for you. What does it mean for you to, to, to be fighting uh, for the opportunity of being – the USA Freedom Champion. That belt you hold in, to me, is a symbol. It's a symbol that um, of me, where I come from. You know, maybe on the road to being a statistic, to be the USA National Champion. That's big. The big, and it also shows other people who from where I'm from, who on their way to being statistics. Yo, you don't got to stay on that road. You don't got to stay on that road. Look at what I did. I started fighting when I was 30. I got into the game late. So I can do it. Imagine what you can do it when you're 21, 20, 25. I always got young boys that see me running and running away. Yeah, what you do over here? You, you fight? Da, 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 da. Yeah. I tell them, oh, for real, where at? So that's, for, for me, man, it means it mean the world. Now, um, this is a rematch in which you did not get the the, the, the W the first time. Uh, what's your attitude coming into this fight in a rematch, Matt? Set the record straight. Set the record straight. Nice and Every, straight. Don't believe, believe. Because I believe. And the more I believe, it just it fuels me. It fuels me. Learning more and more through this whole process is this your first time to fight negative no it's not actually funny story my last title fight was also uh well no but the, the last fight wasn't split decision but my last title fight was a controversial split decision who a lot of people thought i won that fight too who was against who um it was against uh joe sanderson he from uh West PA. Oh, I know, I know what yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, we got it down. It was a nice brawl, but you know, you know, I felt like I won for sure. I mean, if I sent you a picture of his face and my face, like you, you know, like, it's self-explanatory. Yeah, it's the game for you, bro. That's something that you know. I said, I said it's something. I don't know if you guys remember uh, in your last in, the, in your last event when you guys fought each other. I said it to all of you guys, everybody on backstage before the show started. Don't leave it in the judge's hand. If something goes wrong and you don't get the decision, 
it's your fault because you ain't do your job. If you would have did your job, nobody can rob you. Now, Ben, his statement was set the record straight. Mm -hmm. You won that fight. Mm -hmm. What statement are you looking to make September 9th? I'm going to show everybody why I deserve to be champion. Um, everybody has their idea of who won. That's cool. I'm not worried about that. All I'm worried about right now is September 9th becoming this champion. So right now, that's all I'm focused on. And I'm going to make sure, I'm going to make sure that I do much better than I did last fight to, and show everybody why I deserve to be a champion. There's a question going on. Let me just take one. Let me take one. Matt, this question is for you. Matt, why this rematch is going to be different? Why is it going to be different? Well, for one, it's the, it's a five-round fight, not a three-round fight. So there you have it here. You got any experience in the ring, you know that's a different kind of fight. It ain't the same. Five rounds of deeper water. I thrive in deep water. If you know me, I get stronger as shit go on. So get more dangerous as the fight go on. So, you know. I got to admit, um, I do, uh, from what I've seen from you, you are a slow starter, and, and I think five rounds will benefit you a lot more. What about you, Ben? How, how are you with five round fights? Is that something you've done a lot? Yeah, I've done, a found, uh, I've done one five round fight. And man, cardio isn't a cardio isn't a problem for me. I have a lot of confidence. So five rounds, three rounds, a fight is a fight. I'm gonna make it happen regardless. Now, usually, usually when uh, it's it's a five round fight, it's a different style, different pace. You know, obviously than the three round. Uh, are we looking to see a Ben, uh, a different Ben, in this fight since? One, since it's a five round, two, the biggest belt in USA is on the line. Are we expecting to see a different Ben, different style? Gonna see a, yeah, you're gonna see a more a more confident Ben, a more forward pressure Ben, a Ben who you're gonna see Ben, a Ben who really wants it, a Ben that's gonna put his heart out there, a Ben that's not gonna stop until he get what he wants. That's what's up, man. Matt. Same question. I mean, a five-round fight is different than a three-round fight, but it's also on the biggest belt on the line. I mean, are we going to see a different Matt? I want to say something like just wait and see, but on the stuff for the show, I'll open up a little bit. Um, you're going to see things you never saw from me before. I got a big arsenal. I got a big – I can do a lot of different things in there. And it's a lot of stuff you didn't see in the first fight. I got a big tool. So, you, so we didn't see th a lot of things. Do you, are you saying that there that there, there's going to be diff things that you want to do different or you want to do more? Both. Both. Ben, what, are you, what, what did you get from Matt, Matt in this first fight with him? What did you get, Ben, out of that first fight with him just a few weeks ago? Uh, I, got, I got a person who likes to walk forward. I like to put the pressure on you. So I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready for whatever he's um, whatever he's um, coming to give me. I'm not scared. I've been, I've seen the worst of the worst, and I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever, man. Matt, he said he's seen the worst of the worst, and and you saw him in his in his in, his, in your fight with him just a few weeks ago. What did you get, Matt? Uh, that tells you who Ben is and what he's about. I'm sorry, the last part. What's the what last part? What did you get from Ben about what type of fighter he is, basically? Um, uh, Ben is a uh, he a good fighter. I like him. I like the way Ben fight. Uh, he sticks to the basics, uh, you know, and uh, he's he's consistent in what he does. He persistent in what he does. So um. That style, you're going to have a lot of success with that style. But I'm a different animal. We got a lot of comments going on the line. A lot about a 
about both of you guys, man. You guys got a lot of fans here, so that's what's up. I got to ask a question that is a little bit more in the future. Ben, you, you win and you become the USA Freedom Champion. Who would you want to fight? Who would you want? Even though usually it's people calling you the champion out, let's say you had the chance of picking who you want to defend against. Is there somebody that you would want to defend against? Uh, uh I can't. I guess you have to get back to me. But whoever deserves it first. Um, you said that, uh, Jeffrey, right? Jeffrey Freelon? We Jeffrey, he's, back. Not, yeah. he's not ranked number one now. Yeah, yeah, we fought by the WKC beat me, so it would be nice to get a rematch. That's what, so when did you guys fight? I guess last year, not this year, right? Yeah, last year. Yeah. I like Jeffrey. He's a good fighter, so it would be nice to get a rematch. That's what's up. That's what's up. What about what about you, man? You become the USA Freedom Champion. Even though it's people usually calling the champion out, let's say you had the choice. Who would you want to defend against? If you know me, you know I don't care. You line them up, and I'm going to shut them down. In fact, <laughs> There's a lot of chirping going on in the comments. So if yeah. anyone in them, you know, they, they can line it up too. So they ain't scared of nobody. Let me, let me tell you something, though. Usually how it is, when you're at the top, people won't be looking at you. They're going to be talking about you because you're the one at the top. Usually when you're at the top, you too, you're not talking about nobody because you're already at the top. You know, you all you're focused on is staying at the top. And you're just one step away. Both of you are just one step away and you will all eyes in the Muay Thai world will see you as the best fighter in, in the country in USA uh, how do you see this fight playing out Ben? I see my hand getting raised that's all I can see in what way what would you how, how would you say it would, it would play out fight wise style wise technique wise that, me just doing my thing it's me doing my thing. That's all I can see. Just me in there, confident, moving forward, slipping, responding, countering, doing what I usually do. Matt, how do you see this fight playing out? Uh, see me doing more damage. I see me fighting smarter, um, being more meticulous. Uh, you know, setting it up, butter, and getting the, the the result I want. I want to finish. I don't want it to go to the judges. I've been there. I've done that before. That don't that don't always work out your way. I don't want people's opinions. I want people to see results. So, so we're gonna see it. I don't know if that that comment made is funny is meant to make fun of of, of Ben or not. I'm talking about him, he's wearing glasses. But if it is, I mean. Superman wore glasses, mm -hmm. and he'll mess, he'll mess any of you guys up right there. So, mm -hmm. but it is. Boy, you got a lot of fooled by the glasses, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Y'all hey. see him coming. But look, hey. talking about what you just said, man. You might be not, you know, not leaving it, you know. And, uh, ben, same thing. Like, um, are you looking, obviously, Hearing that some people thought you didn't win, are you looking to not leave it in the judge's hand? Then you first. Oh uh, no, I'm not trying to leave it in the judge's hands. I'm trying to make it a decisive victory. Uh, would you go? Would you go for the knockout? Uh, I don't. Whatever's there, whatever's there, we'll see. Me, I'm a patient fighter. I look to see whatever's available. So if the knockout's there, the knockout's there. That's what's up. Matt, for you. I'm sorry. Uh, so the question, I'm, I'm, question is, are you looking, because this is a rematch that you thought you won, people thought you won, are you looking to not leave it in the judge's hand and go for the knockout? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm looking to do damage. I'm looking to make Ben want to quit, make him not want to be in there. Um, that's my job. I'm not going in there to, uh, to to be friends. I'm not going in there to look for a decision. I'm going in there to look to be a definitive champion. And that's what champions do. Now, you said 
say this is going to be in front of you? Would you say this victory and you leaving as the USA Freedom Champion, would you say this is the biggest victory that you're going to have? The way it's, it's panned out with it being a rematch and all of that, I would say, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, for sure. What, my first what, what, sorry? It's my first rematch. First yeah. rematch. Hey. Uh, ben, have you ever had rematches? Oh, I had a rematch just last week at WKA, which was funny. H how did it go the first time and how did it go the second time? Uh, the first time it went just like this, controversial decision. Uh, he got the W, WKA. I got the W. So you got it back? Yeah, I got it back. That's what's up. What would you say to everybody back home, people watching right now all over the world, what would you say to them as to why they should watch your fight next Saturday? You'll be entertained. That's all I can say. Matt's a good fighter. I'm a good fighter. It's going to be a lot of fireworks. Definitely, man. Anything you'd like to say to your family, friends, everybody back home? Uh, me, just watch. Just watch me and support me. That's all I care about. Somebody said Ben paying the refs. Shit, man, if you got it like that, let me know. <laughs> no, nah, I'm poor, man. I'm poor. <laughs> Matt, um, same thing, brother. Anything you'd like to say to your family, friends, anybody back home? I appreciate all the love, all the support. Definitely tuning into this fight because I know I'm been coming to put on the show. So you're going to get your money's worth in this fight. I can guarantee it. You know, everybody work hard. So we want y'all to get what y'all deserve. Somebody in the comments said, if Matt wins, there's got to be a tiebreaker. <laughs> so look, we're going to go there. We're going to go there. But right now, September 9th, Sorry, go ahead. What you had to say? No, I said like rubber match. Well, it'll be. I mean, I know both of you guys are a man of your words, and I know that you'll do, you'll do what whatever needs to be done. But right now, everybody watching on the live, this is this is a huge fight. This is a huge rematch. These are truly two of the best fighters in the country. Um, they're they're right there in the top ranks, and one of them is leaving as the USA Freedom Champion, the most expensive Muay Thai belt in the world, right here. I need to lift it up like this so I can hold the belt up, you know. But the reason why it's heavy is because our fighters in freedom, their value to us is heavy. Everybody be asking, why is the freedom belt so heavy? And I said all the time, the reason why is because fighters to me, to freedom, their value is, that's how heavy it means. That's how heavy they mean to me. And that's how heavy they mean to the sport. You know, the sport cannot grow without fighters. When you look at your belt as a freedom champion, every time you lift this up, you remember. You remember your sacrifice, your struggle, the good days, the bad days, the, the sunny days, the black days, the dark days. You remember and you, and you feel this, you feel this weight and you feel your su success. Next Saturday, next, next Saturday, the biggest fight in smooth mother weight fighting in, in the country is going to be held on Freedom 16 between Ben and Matt. If if you guys are able to do your best to come and, and get a ticket and watch this fight, you guys don't know how, how fire it is. I don't think this fight is going to end in a decision because of the way it went down the first time. If you can't make it, or do your best to order the FCL TV, the live pay-per-view on FCLTV.com. Just just a few more days, just a few more days, uh, and the biggest fight is going to be happening. One of you guys is leaving as the Freedom Champion and the USA Freedom Champion. All the love to you guys. Uh, ben, Matt, thank you Thanks. to your trainer. Thank you to your gym. Both of you come from respect, respected gyms that I respect personally and, and I value personally. Um, no matter what happens, I got love for both of you guys, and I'm going to continue to stand by you and support you. Thank you, Rami. One more thing. One more thing. Can I go? Yes. Yo, all my people, all my people on here, this live. Put some lions in the chat. <laughs> Let me see. Put some lions in the chat. <laughs> Mr. Man, Let's uh, go! Uh, it's, my, it's my honor to promote you guys. Uh, thank you for giving me the, uh, the, the, the opportunity to promote you. 
and show you to the world, show your 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 worth to the world. Hey, thank you, ben. Rami. Thank Much you. love, people. Much. Peace, everybody. Guys, freedom is coming, brother. Peace. Go.